The question of how to assess blame and liability is a difficult one. A lot of people say, I don't want to be in an autonomous vehicle because I don't trust it. Yet they'll get in another car with somebody they don't know, but they'll trust that person. The reality is over 90% of accidents are caused by human error. I think we have to be very deliberate about making sure that the autonomous capabilities introduced are well vetted and safe. But at the same time, what we're starting with is a system that doesn't work particularly well to begin with. As we start getting into autonomous vehicles, especially when they coexist with cars driven by people on the road, we're going to have to work through who's responsible when something goes wrong. Is it the hardware manufacturer? Is it the software code writer? Or is it the car that hit that particular autonomous vehicle? Our regulatory system really isn't ready for that. I think the biggest challenge for insurers with transportation changing so much is really going to be how does their model change? Insurance companies have done similar things for a very long time. The reality is as the liability and the fault begins to change, insurance companies are going to have to decide what they do as well. Whether that means we have to build commercial capabilities or look at risk differently, I think is going to be a critical component. As autonomous vehicles become more and more prevalent, there's likely to be less risk. At its most fundamental core, if you have less risk, then there's less risk to insure. Insurers will be impacted dramatically over time. The issue of responsibility is a big one, and it's not just around autonomous vehicles. I think it's all around the whole transportation system. It's the OEMs. It's the regulators. It's the parking garages. It's the taxing authorities. It's the insurers. Our calculations say that if we can improve the efficiency of transportation 20%, that's $3,000 in every household a year. I think there's a number of things that are beginning to happen and come together in some ways that make that possible. Artificial intelligence is one. The ubiquity of data, sensors everywhere is another. Autonomous vehicles are clearly a big part of it, but they're not all of it. And I think the entire system is going to have to change.